We love a ruching, okay? Especially the sleeves. E L E D. Have you ever thought about a L W D? Like a really oh my god. Do you see this? This is literally a masterpiece. And babes. You see it. You see it. My taser, so you know. Am I joking though? Um What's up guys, it's your girl Jenny here again with another video. I would like to talk about wardrobe essentials. Let's talk about wardrobe essentials. More specifically, let's talk about spring wardrobe essentials. And I know sometimes, you know, with the seasons changing, especially, I live on the East Coast, so seasons are definitely changing. Um, and so for us, it's time to adapt, try something new, um, shed the layers off because Again, it's not gonna be as cold um, as it is. The breeze is gonna be breezing, okay? And so I wanna make sure at all times that we are looking our best and feeling our best. Um, and if you know anything about this channel, you know we're all about colors. We're all about not necessarily trends, but like pieces that makes us feel good. And so I wanted to talk to you guys through some of the wardrobe essentials that I think are necessary. I'm saying necessary, okay? Um, I just took a really wonderful shower, did my uh, springtime skincare routine. So I want to talk to you guys about what I'm doing in order to get dressed proper for the weather. And so let's get started. But before we get started, if you're new here, welcome to my little corner of the internet. Here we talk about all things fashion, travel, lifestyle. And here and there, we sprinkle a little bit of my life as a mom, a career woman, and a wife and how I'm not juggling it all, to be honest with you. Your girl is struggling, so. But we move, we move, right? So if any of the above sounds like it's right up your alley, please don't forget to hit subscribe. And welcome to the family. <laughs> On a serious note, I wanna talk about like the top 10-ish, maybe it's not even 10, I don't know, um, but I, I've written down all of my essentials that I want to put on high rotation for spring. And so I wanna take you guys through that, what that looks like for me. And some of the pieces you guys are gonna be very familiar with and others, maybe not, what else, I don't know. Um, and so for me, I think I wanna start out with the accessories first, or maybe I should start with the clothing and then we accessorize, I don't know. Um, anyway, so I wanna talk about the top 10 that is going to be on high rotation for me. Um, for background, your girl is anemic, and so I'm always cold, y'all. Yes, even in the summer, when I'm not outside or in, when I'm inside and the AC is on, your girl definitely has a blanket on, has a sweater on, has is layered, okay? And so when it's time for winter or fall, your girl be suffering, okay? But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, let's get started with the pieces that I have. Um, I think for me, I love, 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 love a good blazer. I specifically love a good, so I guess we're gonna start with clothes. Okay, great. Uh, I specifically love a a very, I'm, I'm getting into, so I used to uh, love structured blazers. Um, you know, really fit it to the body, really nice, but your girl is really getting into oversized blazers. And more specifically, again, you know, we're very colorful over here. Um, more specifically, super colorful blazers. And this past fall, um, they were having obviously like a summer sale or whatever, um, end of summer sale or whatever. And I snagged this absolute, I snagged this absolute gem, okay? Gem of a blazer. And I cannot wait to rock it. So two things. This is a small, this is a small, okay? Um, and it is oversized. Um, and to show you how oversized, I'd like to try it on for you, darling. Hold, please. Okay. So don't mind. I don't know if you can see all the way. Maybe I need to adjust a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is what we're looking like. I don't know if you can see all the way down, but I still have my uh, robe on, so, but it's not, it's not a thick robe. It's a very thin robe. So this is what we're looking at, okay? You see the arms? I might need to get the arms readjusted. However, if you know anything about me, you know we love a ruching over here. We love a ruching, okay? Especially the sleeves. And so it is fitted to the body, obviously. I don't know if you guys can see, but 
I absolutely love this color. Like when I tell you this color is perfect for spring, like I don't know how much more for perfect it could be to be honest with you. However, one of the ways that I plan on styling it is either with a pair of jeans, a jean skirt or uh, pants, um, either with uh, maybe like a long dress, like a maxi dress. But to be honest with you, I am really feeling the jean skirt or jean um, or pair of jean pants. Um, so I do plan on like, it's giving 80s, y'all. This It's giving 80s and we can appreciate that. Um, I do plan on leaving it open most of the times that I wear it. Um, yeah, obviously the bodice wouldn't need any adjustment. I think just the sleeves for me at least. Um, just in case I decide not to ruche. But that's very unlikely, to be honest with you all. So we ain't gonna worry about that. However, the body fits like a glove. Like, you guys, when I tell you like a glove, I truly mean like a glove. So this is where we are, my loves. This is where we are. Let's just say I did nothing to it. I do, however, plan on wearing it, like cinching the waist with a belt um, because I don't love the way the buttons are so low. Um, I think for me, especially, I'm not that tall. I'm 5'3". And so, yeah, I would certainly need something to snatch this part of it. But yeah, I think, number one, you need a good blazer. A good linen blazer. Um, I, it doesn't, to be honest with you, obviously it doesn't have to be linen. It can just be a regular, but definitely not wool. Like, y'all, come on. Um, so yeah, absolutely, you will need a good linen colorful blazer because why are y'all trying to live a life with no color? That's really the question. Why y'all why are y'all trying to live a life with no color? Okay. So I encourage you. So this is gonna be uh highly rotated in the closet, and hopefully when I style it, I can show you guys. So the absolute next on the docket for me, um, if I I, I just love a good dress, y'all. I don't know about you. I just love a good dress. So I'm going to talk about like three different dresses. Okay. Okay. And hopefully show you guys how to style some of them. But I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I really do love me a good dress. Like when I tell you a good dress, a good dress, because you really cannot go wrong with a good dress. It's just easy to style, easy to hop and go. Like you're not wasting time, babes. Like it's very much, you're here, get it done. It's done. Anyway. So with that, a nice shift dress, a nice shift dress. <laughs> Stop playing with it, okay? Like this baby is about to be on high, high rotation. So I've already wrought this on a, a lunch date with one of my girlfriends. And babes, when I tell you breezy, easy breezy is really what we're going for, okay? And this dress gives color gives a shape and by shape i mean like it's um a shift dress so it's not too tight on you so if you want to eat to your heart's delight babe this is it this is the moment this is the moment this dress is the moment so for me obviously a really nice short shift dress will always 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 seal the deal okay i know we talk about lbd 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 have you ever thought about a lwd instead of little it stands for long I'm here for an LWD, darling. Like this one, when I tell you it's perfection personified, if perfection were ever a, a material, it would be this dress. I bought it at Anthropology oh, last summer. And when I tell you, it, it comes with a belt. The belt is not here right now. It's probably like in my little belt um, hangers. But it comes with a belt. It cinches the waist, those little flutters, like the, 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 the fluttery sleeves are chef's kiss. It's very fitted on top and loose on the bottom. It's like A-line, but not too A-line. And pockets, sweetie, you need an LWT because a long black dress will never steer you. A, a, a long white dress will never steer you wrong, okay? Because heavy rotation. Because I could see this for date night. I could see this for dinner with, you know, your friends, colleagues, whoever. Um, I can definitely see this, um, yeah, just like anywhere, church, um, literally anywhere, y'all. Like, like, I'm not kidding. 
Um, and so, yeah, I'm here for a nice LWD, darling, which stands for long white dress. Okay. So I, that, that's definitely going to be on heavy rotation as one of the essentials for spring for me. So on the topic of long dresses or dresses, period, I think for me, one of the key, 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 key thing for spring, summer, obviously is a nice maxi. Sweetie, <laughs> sweetie, okay? You cannot go wrong with a maxi. And like a really, oh my God, do you see this? This is literally a masterpiece. And so for me, I, again, easy breezy, super lightweight. You can put a jacket on top. You can style it, cinch the waist. Like you literally can do whatever you want with a maxi dress. And I think the versatility of a maxi dress is what is so appealing because I can dress it up or down. I can, um, I can, it, it's so versatile to the point, like I can walk, I can, I can go into any establishment with it, right? Without having it be judged or be deemed as unprofessional versus professional, etc. And this dress, I think it's from Andrea. No, it's from Diara Blue. I got this on sale at Shopbop last, again, last fall on their end of the year sale. And babes, like this, like this material is super sheen, super light. And the, um, the little designs is what literally seals the deal for me. And so this dress is definitely about to be on heavy rotation. So, um, because obviously it's still going to be a little bit colder, um, during the spring months. So obviously I'll probably layer this with a jacket on top. Um, I'll probably put like a shirt under, but more likely a jacket on top because I'm anemic. I already told you. Okay. Okay. I know, I know we've been talking about my anemia. One of the key things that I absolutely love is the fact that it allows me to wear things like this. So one of the things that is going to be in heavy rotation is definitely like a cardigan. I absolutely love this one because... It's not your typical cardigan um, on, with the multiple facts. I love the v-neck of it all. I love the three buttons in the way they're spaced. I love obviously the color and the pattern. But one of the things that I absolutely love is the fact that it's like cropped. Usually when like cardigans tend to be like longer. Um, and not that I don't like those, I absolutely do. But at the same time, I feel like a cropped cardigan brings you, it is more versatile and you can do more with it. You can layer it better. And I think, again, with jeans, with tights, with skirts, with whatever, you can do a wonderful job with this. One of the other things that I absolutely love about this cardigan is the fact that like the sleeves are super long and super exaggerated. And it's almost like a trumpet type feel because it's t not tight, but it's like a little bit um, uh, narrower right here. And then it just opens up. Oh my gosh. This, my love, this is the piece de resistance. This is going to be a heavy rotation and certainly a necessary piece. We're not done with the clothing yet. I think for me, one of the key, key, key things um, to have in your wardrobes is jeans, right? Whether it's the jean skirt making a comeback or jean pants that is obviously a staple everywhere and anywhere. And so for me, a light wash jean, die, die. Because girl, yes, sign me up. I'm here for it. Light wash. Again, I, I don't have anything against dark wash denims. I, I don't. And I don't have anything against darker colors. It's just there's something so like not so not forced if that makes sense about a light wash denim whether it's a pair of pants or skirt like honestly speaking i think they're more versatile because when i think of like a dark wash denim i think like serious i think like i should wear a black blazer or a darker blazer whereas a light wash yes i'm gonna wear a, a lighter blazer i'm gonna wear a lighter top like i think for me that's the appeal and for someone that loves color, it allows me to play with more colors. Um, and so definitely a light wash denim, whether pants or skirt, is going to be an essential. And I'm looking at those as one. So light wash denims, period. Okay.
Now we're gonna move on to the accessories. Here I am. I literally, y'all, can we talk about how I stayed in, in my um, robe thinking I was gonna like, you know, do something, like try it on, but no, I won't. Um, let's talk about accessories. Accessories, I'm talking hats, I'm talking sunnies, I'm talking bag, I'm talking shoes. The way you accessorize an outfit can absolutely make or break it. Duh, right? And I think for me, those are essential, like beyond essential, to be honest with you guys, because it's like, girl, why you look like Michelle? Because you could have a bomb outfit on if you accessorize it the wrong way. Babes, what is you doing? What is you doing though? Okay, so let's get into the accessories. The first on the jacket is this brand new lack of color hat. Oh, you guys, this is truly a masterpiece. Let me take this off. Oh my God, did I just rip it? I think I did. I think I did, y'all, but you guys, can we talk about the importance of a hat? So, especially for black girls, whether we have braids in our hair, we're rocking our wigs, we're rocking our natural hair, hats make a world of difference for us. Because again, it's the fit. Okay, hold on there, hold on there. Y'all, y'all gonna see me in my own. Uh... <laughs> I know you see this. Okay, I know you see it. The structure of this lack of color hat, it's it's called the, the brand is called lack of color. And I think I got this on Shopbop, if I'm not mistaken. Guys, the quality is obviously top notch. Let's talk about that. But the color, the color screams spring, the color screams summer. And you know your girl's about to rock her. I mean, I see me rocking it with my long, um, my straight uh, what do you call that hair? <laughs> My straight wig. I definitely see me rocking it with my straight wig. And babes. You see it. You see it. Okay. You see yeah. It. I say you need a, a solid good hat, right? Because this hat can go with all of the pieces that I just showed. Like especially that, that shift dress. I mean, talk about a burst of color. Because it's like color after color. Because again, a good hat, a good solid literally will make all the difference in accessorizing your outfit. I lie to you not. So it doesn't have to be this loud because obviously I love color. Uh, maybe like a gray, a white. Um, I'm not a fan of black. But like some color, whatever color that pleases you or maybe like a tan, like would again, go with every and anything. And so a solid hat. Is definitely an essential. Let's talk about shoes, babes. Let's talk about sandals. Let's talk about sandals. So for me, sandals are definitely a must, obviously, because the weather's nicer, you're doing more, um, the toes can be out, and you're preparing for summer, so your nail polishes are on point, blah, blah, blah. Like, girl, I am here. We understand each other, okay? We get each other. And so a nice, pair of slides so for me i have multiple so I, I don't know why i chose to show you guys these but i absolutely love love low florando and i have about three pairs of these let me see if i can find the other ones hold on so when i tell you guys sandals are gonna be a must my love my love sweetie sweetie okay it's giving i'm ready to party it's giving comfortable because I love these chunky heels because it can you can last all day in them honestly speaking I've rocked these like for seven eight hours and not have to like oh keel over or just take them off like they have been amazing however these are some new pair of I mean I'm Wadis that I just bought or not just bought but I bought last year um again during you guys the best time to buy spring summer stuff is in the winter and like they babes I thought you knew this you know this. I know you do. Okay? So got these babies for $150 something. Dollars. We're not talking about price. Anyway, Nordstrom was having a dumb, ridiculous sale on these Amina Mawadis. Your girl got them. And there will be in heavy rotation. So sandals in general, guys. Obviously, it doesn't have to be the Amina Mawadis. Whatever sandals that you can get your toes out in, um, especially when the weather gets to like April, May time frame. Sun's out, toes out. Okay? Suns out, toes out. 
I haven't rocked these yet, so I can't speak on like how comfortable they are, but this makes me feel good. This little platform situation makes me feel good, okay? So for me, definitely uh, sandals are gonna be in high, high, high rotation, and they're definitely an essential. On the topic of shoes, just because it's spring, doesn't mean we won't have like spurts here and there of super cold days. And for me, especially an anemic me, <laughs> y'all, you're gonna need some nice colorful boots. And I think for me, th this color specifically is perfect. I love, again, you guys know, like I said, I love color. I don't know if you guys to repeat it again. But anyway, um, for me, a nice pair of boots is always gonna seal the deal. Um, obviously you can rock it in the winter, you've been rocking in the winter, but I think a nice pair of colorful, lightly colored boot for spring will definitely be an essential, only because, like I said, it's still gonna be, the weather's not gonna be as beautiful every day. You're still gonna have your days here and there where the, the temperature drops and it's like, oh, sis, what are, you, what are you doing? I thought we were in spring. Yes, sweetie, but Mother Nature um, has a mind of her own. And so with that, you always gotta be prepared to rock what you need to rock. Um, especially with the lighter jeans that I was talking about. So these boots, you literally can wear them with the jeans, wear them with tights, wear them with like a, a sweater dress, um, the cardigan that I was talking about. Like, guys, they're extremely versatile. And especially like uh, the low heel, it doesn't have to be something extreme, obviously. Um, but I think boot colorful boots are definitely, definitely a must. And an essential just for those colder days. I know I've wrapped a lot on the accessories front. However, I would be remiss if I didn't mention a good bag, y'all. A good over-the-shoulder, a good cross-body, a good versatile, not-too-much-space bag is... <sighs> Babe, this is number one, honestly. L let let's talk about it. This is number one because, sweetie, I'm a mom of three kids. I do not have the time, as much as I love, love, love my big bags and, you know, it, it being able to, like, throw everything in it, I've, I'm reaching a point right now where it's, like, I'm rocking their bags. Like, if I'm going to soccer with my son, I'm rocking his big soccer bag. If I'm going to, and, you know, the snacks are in there, the water's in there, like, whatever. But I also need the little, like, dainty stuff for me. And this, my love, is perfect. I love this specific Ghani um, bag. I bought it. I can't on sale. I think the outnet, not I think. I bought it on at the outnet. Um, and the versatility of it all, like, sweetie, it can take my lip gloss, my license, my wallet. Um, what else? My taser. It's like, you know. <laughs> Am I joking though? <laughs> um, so anyway, like it literally can take everything that I need, the essentials that it this is an essential for the essentials. It's not too big. It's not too overwhelming. It's not too, you know, too um, massive. I can put it cross body because again, I'm a mom. I need my hands free. I need to be doing things. And so for me, this is definitely an essential. A bag that I can rock anyway. And it's still super cute. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't take away from the things that I'm doing. It doesn't take away from, you know, my attention. Because again, if I have to keep readjusting, keep they throw, throw the bag away because I'm not doing that. I have three kids to run after. I'm not about to keep readjusting a bag. Like, I'm just not. And so, although it's last on the list, it's definitely not least because this is going to be an essential. I literally thought, guys, I was going to be trying things on. But obviously, <laughs> I'm a rabbit too much, okay? But I hope that my top 10 wardrobe essentials for spring was super helpful. I know for me, it allows me to see what I have and what I need to style better and what I need to take advantage of uh, in terms of my um, closet. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's helpful. I hope you learn something. And I hope you look at your closet and be like, hmm, okay, what's going on? Right, right? Because spring, as I mentioned, is up on us. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. Thank you for watching as always. I will see you in the next video. Bye.